in this video i want to show how you can make this animated modern menu so if i click on it it reveals like this looks pretty cool you could even scroll after doing this and then we have all this effect you could even make it much more cleaner make it look at make some like more background colors maybe or maybe have like different images just do whatever you want kind of styling but this animation looks pretty cool right and the thing is it is actually a part of my five dollar template which is like an animated landing page number two template which has like lots of features so you can see and all of these effects that i've done uh, on this page have their own individual videos explaining how to make it from scratch if you don't want to buy the template so if you want to buy the template and don't want to make all of this from scratch it's for five dollars you could get it today you, if you don't want to spend five dollars then free free to just watch all, each of this video to make it from scratch so let's first go in here and create a container and let's call it full width and add an html widget this one would be our hamburger menu icon you could add anything in here you could add a widget any other icon anything that you want but i prefer to use this one because i like it so this code would be in description that you could use like this and it looks like this when you click on it it turns to cross uh, like this which is white in color and if i click again it turns to black now you would see that in this landing page it is actually turning to black like very quickly because there's one more animation that i've added which is if i scroll down this one basically turns to smaller size and turns this into orange color you could see and because i had to do like uh, this animation there was lots of conflicts which is why this instantly turns to black instead of waiting for a while so i will actually link a better uh, what you call hamburger icon but if you are using let's say this template it's not possible to do and use the better one where it it basically turns to black instantly but if you use the html code that is in description you would be able to have some delay between turning this to black instead of instantly turning this to black but again if you were using it with this header then you will need to not have that delay else it would uh, have some conflicts you could use anything in here it doesn't have to be this menu again like i said and let's make it to be end let's call it as menu icon so the next step is to create our menu so let's create a full container full width let's make it 100 vh let's go into advanced and make this fixed and make, make it like black in color uh, in case it's not showing in your page right now all you need to do is go into advanced and make the z index be like very high actually not very high let's do 9998 9998 so that it's on top of everything but this menu icon needs to be 1234 9999 so that it is on top of this stuff this menu and one important thing is this menu make sure to make it in different container so even if you check in this template you could see the header is in different container so if i hide this header this menu icon is still visible because it's in completely different container this basically allows us to have more control on each of this element because if you add anything to the header that effect applies to every single children element but because this hamburger hamburger icon is in different container anything that i add in this effect or anything that i add in this container does not affect this one because it's completely different container it basically makes sure that uh, this stays on top of everything of all our what you call this section so let's name this container full menu i'll actually make it uh, green uh, actually no let's just clear it because i want it to be uh, transparent instead of this let's create a container let's make this full width and this one would be 100 vh and it would be black in color now this one i'll make 25 percent in size let's duplicate this and let's duplicate this go to full menu and make it be left to right so that it goes from left to right this container needs to be 100 vh this needs to be smaller but you could see nothing's happening because let's go to full menu and select this start and basically it would make it be uh, like this if you don't want to if, if for some reason uh, you don't want to use this then you could go into the container go into advanced and say hey do only for this element for me i want to do for everything so i'll just do start and then let's make this smaller i'm not going to fine tune it in this video because it's going to take too much time 
I also added some border radius uh, for each of this, each of this stuff. So you could see I've added some border radius, which you could go and add it from style and border radius around here. Uh, I'm just going to ignore that for now. Let's do gap zero like this and the full menu needs to be at the right side and I'm going to make sure it has no padding. Now we already got the shape that we wanted. If I want, I can even make this smaller like this. So it looks a bit like this. Go into tablet and then play around with the values until it looks nicer. Make sure to do all the settings how you want it to be. Now, uh, before we do mobile, let's first add some stuff because if we try to do it for mobile right now, we would not be able to see it uh, nicely. So let me add a heading and let's make this white in color. I don't know, call it something like home. Increase the size. Let's do some duplicates. And just, just name it whatever you want. Select this container. Uh, make it be on the right side. Again, this is like how uh, this is all like elemental settings and how you want to do it. There are multiple ways to do the same stuff. I'll add some spacing on the right side, uh, 150 on top like this. Then you could go into here and add some social icons that you want. Go into advanced, go into position, absolute so that you, you can place it at the bottom like this, 50, 50 like this. I'm not going to style it, okay? That would take like too much time to style. Now, if you go to mobile, you would see it is not looking nicer. You might think that okay so let me just go and maybe make it be like this and the problem is when you use reverse there is some issue that might happen with the code uh, because the way the animation works is that it it makes this one be hidden first or it shows this first this first this first but when you do this opposite way then it kind of looks a bit weird so in the full menu don't do this don't do this just do top to bottom and you would see that it is still a bit weird right because it's not showing if i hide both of this it would show there is an way which is selecting the container go into uh let's see order and here you could add the order so you could add let's say zero so if you add one in here you could add make it be on top it's not showing on top right now the easy way would be to just make it be at start uh which is good but if you want more control you could make this one then go into each one of them and make this two and then go each one of them and like make this three like this so it would be like this the easiest way is to just select this and make it start and don't even worry about this too in the menu which is for mobile I've, I've simply made this full screen because again it doesn't make sense why it would be needed to have this second element and I'm also i'm also making it 100 vh so for mobile it would look like this but that is just because mobiles are smaller we cannot have the same effect once you've done all of this, let's go into a full menu and at the end of it, we will add our HTML widget. HTML widget is the one that has the code. Uh, it is kind of annoying so we can basically hide this and also make this responsive hidden so that it does not show. Also make sure it's at the end. This code you would get in description. So just go first and copy the CSS classes that I'm showing. In the website that I have, it would be organized much more better. So you don't have to select the way I'm selecting the CSS classes. Menu uh, anim BG, which would be given to the full menu, full menu container like this. I don't know why I've named the CSS classes like this, but just bear with me. Then do DM menu anim column. This one would be given to each column. Then we have DM menu social anim. You could guess it, it's to give to the social icons. Then we have DM menu title P. So you could see it is it says P. So we have forgotten one step, which is go into here and make sure this is P. Again, doesn't make sense why you would use H1, H2 for a menu. Okay. So go to advance and DM menu title anime, anim, sorry, and make sure this is P. Okay. Else it would not work. So I've given all of them DM menu title anim like this. Now in our HTML, we simply need to add the code. So if I copy this code and paste it, suddenly everything is hidden and nothing is even showing right now. 
so in case you want to do some changes you need to change and remove this display none so if you press control forward slash you can actually comment it out and this code would not run uh, or you could simply delete it and then add it later again or you could do is you simply delete this code fully paste it in notepad like completely delete this publish do refresh and then it would run basically for now i'll do this stuff one step that we need to do is attaching the effect or animation to this button to do that we need to use the css class dm menu anim toggle and give it to this stuff so let's give it to the css class around here you could change it to anything that you want okay it doesn't have to be just this much you could just use icon and then or like icon image or anything and give it this class let's do pre wave uh, one important thing i'm scrolling and you could see it's not actually following okay so just keep in mind for time being so if i click now everything just popped up and i can even hover on it and it basically shows this effect goes hidden comes back down goes hidden like this pretty cool right uh, one important thing is if you check in this template i've used something called minimum 15 percent 30 pixels 300 pixels uh, again doesn't really make sense why i've done this but what this basically means is that it will take whichever the smallest value is if 15 percent of the screen width is smaller than 300 pixels then it would use this if 300 pixel is smaller than 15 percent of the screen width then it would use 300 pixels so if i let's say make this smaller you could see that it is actually being like bigger and smaller right based on the screen width this might be intended this might be something that you like or sometimes it might be not something that you like so you could simply just go into container and then change it to pixel value or what i like to do is change this to let's say minimum 25 percent or 500 pixels so whichever is the smallest value between both of this it would use that so this means that it would never go above 500 pixels Uh, make sure to type it correctly okay and it would never go above 500 pixels if i do inspect you could see if i change this to 50,000 uh, you could see this too stretched but this too never went about 500 pixels so that is one cool way you could change it let's do hide this display none Control forward slash to hide it and then you could just go in here and add some links whatever link you want and it would basically work and the best part is if you want something else in here you could simply just add that and just just change give it the same css class gm menu title anim so let's say if you add a map in here just give them the same css class and it would do the effect a little bit so it would do the fade in fade out effect if you add any other element to doesn't have to be text always and in the code you can see that when we hover it changes to five pixels of letter spacing so again you could increase it or decrease this or add any other hover effect that you want on the title it is also going to be fully responsive so that is one cool thing and if we scroll down in the gsap timeline section uh, you could see it comes from y minus 100 so it goes from y minus 100 which is above our screen and then comes down till uh, it reaches to its original location and then we have some title animation basically it goes from opacity 0 to opacity 1 so from this values so i said from right so it will go from this to original values which is opacity 1 but you could add any more effect in here like x x you could just type x uh, 50 and it will also do that effect which is it will go from right to left to do some nice effect same with this stuff again i have a whole video called animate like a pro for gsap if you want to learn it and that way you would be able to control like every single template that i've made it's very very easy very basic you will learn in one hour uh, one important thing is if i click on this and if i scroll down you could say this basically gets hidden right we don't want that so let's go to our uh, what you call this full section oh sorry desktop mode let's basically display none and remember i said it to create it in, create it in different container right it's good to make this be zero zero and make this to be zero so that this container takes like no space select the menu icon go into position do fixed now once you do fixed 
you could see it is now sticky but we need to actually make it be at the right side like 20 50 and then do i guess 20 and then just make sure to align it with your header so that it like follows you like this so if you check the original page that i have made you could see that the header is uh, set to position fixed so that it follows at the top and then i have hamburger icon which is in completely different container we could see but because i have given this one also position fixed it basically just shows it looks like it's on the same container so now you could see that if I scroll up and down, it basically follows us like a sticky header. And yeah, that's all. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. If you want to buy more animated menus, then there's actually a whole template, which is like 10 animated menus that I've created before. Or if you if you want the specific one, then you could get this template, which has like a lot more features. So yeah, thanks for watching. Goodbye.